does not having legs make something more difficult? I can't really answer that because I cannot compare that to having legs. I was born this way. There hasn't been anything that I just really, really wanted to do that I felt like I couldn't do. Except one other thing. I did kind of want to be an astronaut. Still do. Still want to go into space before I die. Uh, so, you know, but they, they're pretty strict about that. Peak physical condition. You know, they'll send a, they'll send a monkey up there with no training, but I got to go through a bunch of bull crap. <laughs> My name is Rowdy Burton. I was born with uh, sacralio agenesis. That's the medical term for it, I guess. It's a lower spinal uh, disorder, extremely rare condition. Uh, one in 20,000, I believe, is what I read on the internet. I honestly didn't even learn much about it until I became an adult. You know, I was always just class myself as a guy with no legs. You know, I hope I didn't break any of these eggs. <laughs> I don't really like to cook that much. It's not difficult, it's just I'm lazy. I got my legs amputated basically because if I had continued to grow and let them develop, I would have just had, you know, dead weight to carry around. Ah, all 12 are intact. And since they didn't bend right either, it also would have been difficult to use a wheelchair or crutches or anything. I'm balancing on my ribs, kind of. I don't know, it's, I don't know if that sounds weird, but it's super comfortable for me. More comfortable than sitting down, usually. I'm wearing a jacket like this. A lot of people assume like my body just cuts off like right here. But the thing is, I do have a complete lower half. The reason why it's so tiny is because when I got my legs amputated, I was only three years old. They put pins in the bones, and that way the bones would never grow. So basically I got like half a pelvis and thigh bones that would be equivalent to like a three-year-old size thigh bones. They also wanted me to keep my nubs because they help with balance. Like if I'm just standing around here and I'm just getting tired of standing, I can just kind of lean on my nubs a little bit. Let's see, moment of truth. The main thing that affects me is probably my elbows. Growing up, this was always my balance hand. I would always balance on this hand and then do whatever with this hand, you know, if I'm reaching for something or whatever. And you can kind of see the difference. This elbow, this is straight out. If I do hurt my elbow or my wrist, it does kind of suck, you know, getting around with one arm. When I was uh, when I was growing up, I did uh, use a wheelchair all the time, you know, mainly because I had to carry a book bag around and you know that that sort of thing. But if I'm just doing something simple, like if I'm just going to the gas station, for example, I mean that'd be a real pain in the ass to drag the chair out of the car and put it back in. You know, if I'm only gonna walk 20 feet, I just walk on my hands instead. And uh, you know, sometimes I use a skateboard. You get a lot more momentum. I like it because you all get to go fast. And, you know, I can't really run very fast, so uh, so it's pretty cool just to you know pick up speed. I also play tennis with a group of people. It's like adapted tennis. It's a lot of fun. I first met Rowdy when I got involved in wheelchair tennis. He is very laid back, but very kind. Uh, he never, he never pities himself. I was definitely bullied as a kid, but you, once I got into high school, everyone got a little bit more mature. Most of the kids that were jerkish enough to pick on the guy with no legs had done dropped out by that point. 
people are drawn to him. I remember before I met him, our mutual friend told me he's one of those people that just everybody immediately loves, and he is. You meet him, and he's just cool. I think the first time I saw him, he was on a skateboard. I think that's that first encounter where he makes it comfortable for you not like, to feel, up? you know, awkward. A lot of my friends that have known me for years, a lot of them have said at one time or another, like they just forget I don't have legs. You gotta get warm. My legs are cold. <laughs> I've always tried to see the positive ends of uh, every, you know, situation. I only said I play tennis. I never said I was good. That's not to say that I've never like lost my cool or just been frustrated or anything like that. Ugh. Ah. But there's always a silver lining. Nice. There's always a bright side.